All right, go ahead and put your chin up there for me, please. You're gonna feel a small puff of air in a moment. There it was, okay, thank you so much. I've been getting my eyes regularly tested since I was a child, and that little puff of air into my eye still catches me off guard. But it is really important. It's a quick way of checking the pressure inside your eye. Now it works because inside the eye, there's a clear fluid called the, um, the aqueous humor. Now it's constantly being made and it's constantly being drained away. But when that balance is right between the, the being made and the draining, the pressure stays within a healthy range. And the optic nerve then stays protected and you need your optic nerve for your vision. But when the pressure creeps up, it increases the risk of glaucoma and this can damage the optic nerve slowly and silently over a long period of time. Now that puff of air works by briefly flattening the front surface of the eye. This is called the cornea. And the, the machine fires this tiny pulse of air and it measures how much force is needed to temporarily change the shape of the cornea. So a higher resistance means a higher uh, pressure within the eye. But thankfully, there's no contact with the eye. So there's no needles, there's no eye drops, and the whole thing lasts a fraction of a second. So the normal pressure within the eye usually sits at between uh, 10 and 21 millimeters of mercury. But a result above that doesn't automatically mean that you have glaucoma. Corneal thickness, the age, some medications that you're on, and any previous eye surgery can all affect the reading. And that's why one number on one day is never the full story.